one of them, there's been talks like of DeMar DeRozan or a Zach Levine for Clay. Would you guys do that? Would you take Clay if you're a Bulls fan, Jackson, or not? What was the trade? So supposedly the Warriors, if they continue to lose and they're looking more and more... Yeah, like, what was the trade? I, I understand. Oh, oh. It's uh, DeMar DeRozan or Zach Levine for Clay Thompson. I don't want Clay, but I'll take Moody, B Pod, and Kamingo. I think right now the only tradable players potentially big contracts are Chris Paul and Clay Thompson, with Moody and Kamingo being the other the only young guys. The rest of the roster seemingly is off limits. They're really big on B Pod and they're really big on Trace Jackson Davis, they basically alluded that they would like to keep Chris Paul on a, on a cheap contract and that if a opportunity presents themselves to upgrade from Clay Thompson or get somebody on a cheaper deal, which I like, wouldn't be surprised if they went out and tried to get like Buddy Heald or somebody from like a couple other contracts, Buddy Heald, TJ McConnell, I would do that. I wouldn't mind. I've talked about this before. Love, like I, I think at this point you're not getting much of a drop off if you go from Clay Thompson to Buddy Heald. Yeah, I, I 100% agree with that. How plausible it is, I don't know, but like player comp wise, yeah, but he'd be a pretty seamless fit. And then you can maybe, if you throw in a pick or two, get like TJ McConnell and like who's another vet on that team that I would want. Hmm. Maybe bring in Isaiah Jackson because he's an expiring, get the rim protection. Like, there's deals out there. Right here, Rocket News says, I was thinking Clay Thompson to the Hawks with Trey Young. That's a terrible take. I'm sorry, Rocket News. Either we'll do we'll do Clay Thompson for like Bogdan Bogdanovich and like AJ Griffin. That would be a steal for Golden State. I don't think Atlanta would ever do that. I think there would definitely be picks involved from Golden State. I mean, AJ Griffin's out the lineup. Like Quinn Snyder yeah. does not like AJ Griffin. That's been I a don't thing. Like he's expendable. Huh? Warriors. I'm at all. You guys just aren't real Warriors fans. I think they'll be fine. Clay has been better. The last couple of games, yeah. He's he's monumentally better than Buddy Heald, or whereas Buddy Heald would. I think you're underrating Buddy Heald this season. I think probably. you're over. I think people. I think you've overrated Buddy Heald for a couple of seasons now, and I think Buddy Heald has actually not had a very. I mean, he's had a good career, but he was not what he was supposed to be in the NBA. What? I mean, he, how do you really – Buddy Heald in the college he's the basketball? Top, he's, the top, he's the top volume sniper in basketball. Yeah, Buddy Heald. But Buddy Heald was supposed to be like – One of the best shooters in the league. Like Thompson on crack. No, I think he was just supposed to – I mean, he's probably been the third best shooter in the NBA behind Curry and Klay Thompson. Am I wrong? He's probably been like since he's entered the NBA, the third best year, dude. Last year, the sec who came in That's second. That's fine, good for him. But like 25, 25 and six. What do you mean in college? That's sure, Oklahoma. He's never sniffed that. I mean, he averaged twenty one five and three with the Kings for like two years. Ooh, good for him. And then say like, that he's nothing more. Say that he's nothing more than an elite spot up guy. What more is Clay than that at this point, really? Yeah, honestly. So fucking, yeah, but the point is, dribble. what does it matter? What Buddy does it matter? Can pass and dribble way more than Clay can. So I don't want. I don't need. That's why I have two players named Steph Curry and Clay yeah, or Chris yeah. Paul and Draymond Green. The whole point is to not have Clay Thompson dribble. Clay Thompson dribbles too much. Clay Thompson should not need to dribble more than five times in a single basketball game. But uh, yeah. healed. You're trying to tell me, Buddy healed in his. 39% from downtown is great. 13 points. I don't – there's no way you can watch Buddy Heald play and be like, yeah, like the Warriors would be better with him than Clay. And he, the Levine thing was more interesting to me because if I'm parting with young players or picks, I want someone dynamic. I'm not going to replace Levine Clay has no trade value with somebody comparable. Yeah, he, Clay Thompson had – Zach Levine has trade value. Stop listening to every single report you hear as it's a fact, what they don't have is the trade value they want for Zach Levine. I mean, trade he has trade value. Okay. Every player has trade. Zach value. Levine has less trade value than Bradley Beal. Okay. That's like a fact. He's going to, the, the trade that's probably because nobody wants to trade for Bradley Beal. Well, the thing is, is I'm saying that you are going to get second round picks. You're not going to get any first round picks for Zach Levine. You might get a couple young guys. Maybe that's what I'm saying. Like a best case scenario, like is, Chris Paul, Jonathan Kaminga, Moses Moody, 
one or two second round picks, call it a day. That's a, that's well, the Beal trade, the Beal trade still featured a multitude of pick swaps. Yeah, but like the, the thing we're hearing is people view Zach Levine's contract worse than Beal. They um they said Beal was a better defender than Zach Levine to ever um. been. The be- dude, um, Beal's a way better defender, dude. Than, have you ever like Beal? Zach Levine's a good defender. No, he's not. No, yeah. he's not. No, he's not. Yes, he go- is. No, he's not. He's yes, one he of the, he's a horrendous defender. It's above average defender. No, he's How's not, that? dude. You, you don't know basketball. No, he's not a good defender. I don't know basketball. Himself. This is ridiculous. This, are you like you <laughs> looking at fucking Zach Levine? Zach Levine has been literally almost a cone for his entire career. Okay, he was a guy. He watched that- the Wizards every day for eight years. Bradley Beal can play good at defense. Well, Uno reverse. Zach Levine can play back. He can play defense. And he's a perfectly fine and perfectly capable defensive player. Bradley Beal was a deep point all all defensive team, all defensive team guy when he was with John Wall. He averaged almost like two steals a game for like two, three years in a row. Okay, so now I'm going to throw the AD talk in your face and be like, why can't we get that Beal? The point is that Bradley Beal and Zach Levine are similar esque players. Maybe Beal is better than Levine at defense, but he's certainly not better at scoring than Zach Levine at this point in his career. Levine he's not better at staying on the court he... than Zach Levine at this point in his career. I'm just no, I mean, I I I kind of you're definitely overrating Zach Levine as a defender. He's like passable at best, and like barely yeah, he's passable been, at best. At best, dude, he's been had one season where he was almost a plus defender, and he was still negative. One season, and to, to his to his credit, he has been a part of a good Bulls defense for the past few years. And so he's he still the worst long. defender. I'm willing to give him that, yeah. He's still like leagues. He's almost his for his career. He's almost as bad as a defender as Trey Young. That's how bad Zach Levine is. Trey Young and Zach Levine are almost the same level of defender. And Zach Levine's six five with a six seven wingspan or six nine wingspan. It's like physically, he just doesn't try. He's fine, and he's also guarding the best guard player every single night for his entire. Oh, he's career. certainly he's not. He's like they hide him on defense. They have to. They hide him. They put him on the worst offensive player. Also, I love that th- right here. That stat muse respects. When a team changes their logos, because look at this, this is, this is cool. I've always noticed that like they'll they'll keep if the team was rebranded, they'll like in the if he played for the team when they were a different brand, they'll show that branding. I always thought that was kind of cool. Because if you go to like Kevin Garnett, that's how, it, that's how it works. But anyways, that's literally how Jackson, it works. Jackson, but Jackson's heated. I'm just saying that's how that works. But the what? thing is, when teams change logos, the the logo changes, but no, but the stat muse ref- reflects that, like, most of the time they'll keep it uniform. Do you know what I mean? Like, this would just be the same logo as the other Minnesota logos, but they're. I, oh, I can't even see because it's so goddamn blurry. But we'll get a first round draft pick for Zach Levine. And yes, go. I will take that package in comparison to a first round draft pick, but also it's absurd. I. I think Zach Levine has probably played his last game for the Chicago Bulls, which would make your trade package correct. But I don't think it should be his last game as a Chicago Bull. I think he should start to hop in here while we're on a two-game winning streak. And then, if needed, I would I would keep him if you're not getting a first-round draft pick. Or wow, but how players. do you just not want to – and we've talked about this because you would rather them be mediocre than tank, but – yeah. Tanking is in the best interest of the franchise. I will you say, can't really, you can't never successfully that. tanked since Derrick Rose. Okay. It doesn't mean you have to. It doesn't mean you can just stop trying. I get you both sides. Reset. I get both sides as a Wizards fan. Like we went through mediocrity like the last seven years, and we tried to build from the middle. And honestly, this year watching a rebuild, like a full tank, is like I, I can't even watch a Wizards game. Like I can't. I can like barely make it through the first half. It's like really bad basketball, and it's like not fun. And I can understand like why we re- rebuilding teams like really don't like fan bases hate it because I as the only team that I really I mean the, yeah Minnesota was like a dumpster fire to always watch for years, and it's cool like it'll be really oh, fuck what what like between Johnny Flynn Ricky Ru- like like what do you mean until we got Carlton Towns and Andrew Wiggins he just took a bowl of wine <laughs> huh. Oh, he did. He just took a pull. Yeah, do not, do not interrupt, Ciro. Ciro continues. Sorry, yeah, I, I didn't see him pull wine. I didn't see him pull. Just wine. did a pull of wine. 
Uh, but I wish I had that on camera. But what I was gonna say is, I can get where you're saying you'd rather not be a fucking rebuilding team. I. It's hard. It's terrible. It's, it's yes. It's, it's terrible. It's, ter it's so bad, dude. Like watching, I can't even. Like every time I see, oh, I can't. I can't. It's so bad. It's. I had way more hope. You remember last year? I was happy with Christoph Porzingis and Bradley Beal. Like we're so quick. Because you, I wanted that team forever. I was cool with it. I was cool with it. We were never going to be good, but like at least we were always going to be trying to go for the playoffs. Exactly. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with a never. Like at least I don't have. Now we have Jordan Poole. I don't know. I don't know why Bulls fans are so upset being stuck in mediocrity because I don't think they, maybe they weren't paying. Maybe they weren't. Maybe they forgot about the Zipser era and the Felicio and Denzel. You don't remember Felicio? I love Felicio. That's what I'm saying. I don't. I think maybe some Bulls fans have forgotten about Shaq Harrison. And, and Shaq players. Harrison, man. Matt Barnes. I was gonna say Gordon Hayward. No, Joe Ingles. Yeah. Does he have that much hair? Not oh, it's just, it's, it's just a little there. Puff. It's just there. It's, 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 it's Luke Permisa. Oh, I was going to say it's the Permisa. Uh, you're going to say yeah. it's the Permisa? Yeah, this is Luke's haircut. 